Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and today, fuckers, I'm talking luxury goods. Luxury goods, fuckers. And uh, it's it's come as a bit of a surprise, but uh, I've been I've been telling the truth about luxury goods. I've I've come to a um, a conclusion that they they weren't the best investments, and that's not a that's not a terrible thing, you know. I'm just you know this is just the reality we live in, and uh, you know the problem with any luxury goods that you buy is that they're very very fickle. It's a very fickle market, high cost to have prestige and perception to have brands and loyalty and I've uh, I've owned quite a few luxury goods myself and it's time to to admit the truth that um, I should have invested my money in other things but you know they they, they did give me a lot of pleasure and uh, once you have that realization I, I think it's time to to get rid of of some of your luxury goods, and uh, it's a, it's a, it, it's it's a sad reflection. I've got a, quite a few luxury goods for sale myself. It's just how the world is. The luxury goods themselves, you know, fashions have changed. Many things have happened. You know, whereas a pearl necklace would have been, you know, just so wanted, it's they're harder to sell. Casualization of society. Dress watches, small thin dress watches. Same thing. The fashions have changed now. Sports, big sports watches are the talk of the town. So you've really got to you really got to think about what what is it that you like yourself and what makes you happy. And um it's 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 a bit of a sad thing there, but um it's it's the truth. It's the truth, fuckers. It really is the truth there it's it's hard hard yards fuckers absolute hard yards and um it's time to realize if you i think the secret is you want to have a balanced you want to mix in life you want to keep a few things you love keep a few things nothing wrong with that and get rid of some other things that's the the key to happiness here so uh, I, I, I really think myself that is the, the secret um, to, uh, to living a, a, a better life. And uh, I, I, I would say it's a bit of balance. You want to have some balance. It's, you know, nothing wrong with having a nice, nice wristwatch. Nothing wrong with having a nice fountain pen or a briefcase. That gives you pleasure. That's great. But you don't need fucking a huge collection of everything you don't need all these possessions which you know that that doesn't necessarily bring you I mean it can make you happy I understand that it can make you happy but it doesn't necessarily you know it comes with a lot of baggage you know sometimes your possessions you then you gotta you gotta look after these things you gotta store them securely in case of burglars and you know, for a lot of middle class folk, you got to finance these things. You can't just, <clears throat> it's hard, it's hard, <clears throat> hard to save. And I think for a lot of people, it becomes a bit of escapism. You know, life is so boring and drudgery and, you know, your career's fucked and the wife doesn't, doesn't fuck like she used to. It's, it's all drudgery and uh, you have a bit of escapism in collecting. It's, it's a great outlet, but you've got to control these things. I, I think, <clears throat> okay, go and buy a few things, knock yourself out, and hopefully, fuckers, you've followed my advice. You've bought secondhand. You haven't paid retail. You can enjoy them for a while, and then later on, get rid of what, you know, doesn't, doesn't pop for you. And I, I, I'm not saying, you know, sell everything and live a fucking frugal life, eat canned food and just be super stingy. I mean, that's not living. But in the same token, having $100,000 of credit card and consumer finance isn't exactly living either. And the if you look at the returns on these things... They're not fantastic. I, I, I've done the, you, you, you fuckers have watched my videos. You know my, I've done my video blogs, and uh, you see, you, you understand where I'm coming from. So, my advice is, when the, when the, when the penny drops, sell off, 
the pieces that, you know, keep a few, keep a few, but sell off the ones that don't rock your boat. Sell off a few. And I think that's, um, that's the key. A balance. You want balance. You want balance in your life, fuckers. Balance. And, um, I hope I've, I've can steer you the right way because uh, I, I've made mistakes. I'm a m- m- maturing fucker. I, I thought luxury goods was the answer. I, I wanted to have my own little shop and sell them, and it um, it turned out to be... I was wrong, fuckers. I was wrong. I was wrong. So I'm making steps now. I'm going to sell off some of my pieces, sell off some of my stuff, and look at... How do I improve things? What steps can I make now to improve my life? So there you go, fuckers. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you nasty, vicious, foul-mouthed fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid. We specialize here in pre-owned Rolex watches. Rolex watch is a very special timepiece and we always do the servicing exactly as factory specifications. We buy a pre-owned piece and we put it into brand new condition. We have Rolex certified technicians working on that. We completely disassemble the piece, we adjust and polish and change every single part of the watch. You have to have certified watchmakers that know what they're doing. If you have an expensive car you're just not going to bring it to any mechanic that doesn't know what they're doing. You spent $5,000, it's like if you put money in the safe deposit box. And one or two years from now, you will keep having your $5,000. We have to spend a lot of money to get all this equipment together, but makes me feel I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. It's not a question of money, it's my passion. Jewelers on time, simply the best.